think Iriba, and you'll probably picture something a bit like this, the dinky and iconic Iriba Touring. But in Germany, that name means a whole lot more. And it's going to mean more in the UK for 2017 too, because Heimer Group is bringing over this, the colossal Iriba Nova S. Being this huge, it's obviously got a lot of storage in it. Up front, there's a simply enormous gas locker. Moving round to the side, there's an external hatch, and inside it, a huge ski locker. So you can put your gear in and then slide it back in. As we move back down the van, which is nearly nine meters long, so it's quite a walk, we've got just about the biggest external hatch I've ever seen. It's massive, completely clear space inside too. And at the back, well, thoughtfully, they've put a grab handle so you can help to move it in place on pitch. Now, being this big on the outside, it must be pretty colossal inside too. And it is, it's simply colossal. This van with the kit on it weighs in at nearly 40 grand. So you would expect to have plenty of toys and you do, including underfloor heating. How about that? You also get not one, but two lounge areas. This front one turns into a double bed by dropping the table. And the middle one is really only for kids to play out or potentially have your breakfast at. And how about this? Built-in cup holders. How very cool. Now you can tell that this van has been tweaked with British buyers in mind because it's got a proper oven, grill and dual fuel hob. But just in case you thought it was betraying its continental roots, check this out. A special cabinet just for your coffee machine. Now remember I was talking about the fantastic storage solutions in this van. Well we've got some even better ones inside. Check out this. We've got a pull-out pantry, a large wardrobe, and if you pack without getting your clothes quite dry, fear not, we've got a heated sock drawer. How about that? And over that vast storage space at the back here, we've got an equally vast bed. It looks incredibly inviting. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just close my proper bedroom door. For such an enormous van, this is really quite a small bathroom. And I'm not sure for 40 grand that I really want a bench toilet. But then that is the continental way. And there are some nice details in here too, such as a little mirrored cabinet and these fold out drying rails. They're really neat. And also, where's that sink? Oh, there it is, in the bedroom. Now there is an elephant in the room with his 690 and that elephant is nearly nine meters long, two and a half meters wide and weighs 2.8 tons which means that you can't tow it. You'll have to have it delivered to your seasonal pitch by a transport company. But if you like the look and feel of the 690 and want to be able to tow it yourself, there are two smaller, lighter models in the range. And if you're looking to spend a good portion of your kid's inheritance, this is a very stylish way to do it.